everyone, this is Chris Brosnan and welcome back to our world and Robin's world now. You're starting to get used to this Chris Brosnan <laughs> world, aren't you? It is wonderful. Can I comment? I love the fact you polished your shoes. That was your lesson last time. Yes, it was. Now, when you go riding, whether you're riding for fun, you're riding to um, improve your skills so you can compete in an event, it all starts with the purpose of why you're going to ride and what you're going to do. So hence, when you turn up with this very strong, confident pur purpose on why you're going to ride this horse and your connection with the horse, the horse starts to get that energy feeling straight away and gets on with the job. Now, the most interesting thing is Gypsy was here with her friend and um, the friend had broken the twine and gone up, but Gypsy didn't move. She stayed. We've just tied her up there, but she actually didn't move away. And the mere point is she's waited for us to come back because in my head and Robin's head, we are going to work with Gypsy and we're going to be totally focused and here with a purpose. So our session today, again, is back on dressing for success in riding. And when I say success in riding, that's also when you want to heal with your horse through a healing process as well. So Robin's got nice shiny shoes, which is great. We're still in this black and white top, so I'm, I'm not too fussed about that. But I figured she might turn up today in a black checkered top. So I brought a shirt along to give her an idea of how it felt and how you can also see. So can you just take a shirt off for me? And before we do, can you take your black gloves off? Now I know gloves are great for riding and they've certainly got a purpose. But when you first start to work with your horse, you've got to work with your hands. When you don't come up and work with your horse with your hands, you immediately, before you even start working with your horse with gloves on, you are not connecting in that beautiful touchy feel. Is that okay? Yep. All right, let's get this shirt off. Very nice. Now, can you see the difference just in Robin being in what she is without this checkered black shirt. Like, I think you look quite groovy. Oh, thank you. How does it feel? Does less it feel weight. Less weight? Less weight, less constricted. Good work. Now, Robin could go riding in this. Now, when you put the blue and the purple, purple's all about having the belief. It's a healing color, it's a great color. Blue jeans are always good because you're taking responsibility to communicate. Love the polished shoes. We're gonna work on the hat that's further down the track. But I just want you to try a red and white stripe. Now, often if I want someone to work more in a team energy, I will get them to start to work with stripes. And that's where I'm wanting Robin to do is work more in a team energy feeling. So the horse also connects with her. But Robin's subconscious goes, I'm going to be working as a team. I'm working with my horse. It's not all about me and it's not all about the horse. I'm going to be working with my horse. How does that feel? A lot brighter, a lot positive, more positive. Yeah, it looks really good and it's nice. So red and white will give you the feeling of confidence, structure. You're going to complete the job, but the red will always give you that feeling of confidence. The other reason why red is looking fabulous on Robin is the fact that her path number, and the path number is the year you're born, you have a specific color on that path number that will relate to the best color that's going to combine with your subconscious and the horse's subconscious. So I'm going to get you to do some work in that red and white shirt. Is that okay? That is great. Yeah, it's, it's so much different to this one. You can feel it straight away, can't you? Yes. You even look like, if you take the sunglasses off for a second, is that okay? You actually look 10 years younger. <laughs> treatments or we can just put a color on and get hey look gypsy's even can you notice how she's coming to you more now where's the gloves Before, off? Gyps, the gloves off but you're coming dressed with a purpose to work with her she's already acknowledging like she wants to get in on the act here look she hasn't been that affectionate as much before so you can see robin is here more with a purpose. Polish shoes, she knows where she's going to for the future. She's taking pride in herself. She's just not turning up in anything so any old thing can happen with her horse. She is here to start to get connected to this horse, which is going to do more healing on more angles than you could imagine. But we're going to see Robin 
on this horse and out fox hunting before you even know it. So this is Chris Brazel and Robin out. We'll be back with another lesson on the psychic of the horse and the power of you and the power of the horse making a very successful team. Out for now.